A handful of FBI agents exit the Sergeant's Benevolent Association's headquarters on Worth Street in Lower Manhattan Tuesday afternoon, holding on tight to two boxes filled with undisclosed objects as they head directly into their field offices at 26 Federal Plaza. Can you tell us what's in the boxes? Any comment about what happened today? How long were you in there? No comment. The agents refused to answer any questions regarding their morning raid at the SBA offices. Ed Mullins is the president of the union, which represents 13,000 active and retired NYPD sergeants. Mullins, a controversial leader, has publicly battled it out with high profile figures, including Mayor Bill de Blasio. I think a lot of what he has done has been really, really destructive. In his daily briefing Tuesday, Mayor de Blasio confirms the FBI raid is connected to an ongoing investigation. I think he's been a divisive voice, but that doesn't cause me to feel anything in this situation because I don't know what's happening. I, all I hear is an FBI raid. I don't know the specifics. Mullins is also facing a separate departmental disciplinary trial for releasing information on social media about the mayor's daughter's arrest during a Black Lives Matter protest. And last year, he used foul language on Twitter to describe the city's former health commissioner. Mullins also made a derogatory tweet when describing U.S. Representative Richie Torres. Torres, who was gay, denounced Mullins' tweet as homophobic. In response to Tuesday's raid, Torres tweeted in part, Ed Mullins just got a first class raid from the FBI. Under Mullins nearly two decades of leadership, the union has fought for better pay, with contracts resulting in pay increases of 40 percent. FBI agents also raided Ed Mullins home in Port Washington, Long Island. I reached out to Mullins attorney. I have not received a response yet.